All right, yo, look, check it out. New Danganronpa gameplay. What is this called? Danganronpa V3 or whatever? Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Uh, just a little update or not update. Just a little disclaimer. I played the first game. I played the second game. And I know about like the Spare Girls or whatever. And I watched the anime too. So I have pretty much like a good insight on how the game goes and the rules and the investigations and all that. I just got this game. I don't know anything about it. I'm just playing it here. You know, trying to get a new experience. I know absolutely nothing out of it. Uh, I did play a little bit of it, but I got all the way up to like the first investigation. So I do know who gets clapped first, unfortunately. And I'm gonna reset it because I want I wanted to re record that. So yeah, we'll just we'll just get right into it. If you don't know me, the name Surge. I haven't decided the channel name. I am actually making this before making the actual channel. That's a little weird, but uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna delete it and then start over from the beginning. Would you like to? Oh, hell no. Okay, start a new game. If you, if you load the save data from the demo version, you unlock a special reward. Load demo version save data? I don't know what that means. I kinda wanna do it. If it's a little loud, um, Please. Oh, I can't uh, mess with the options. I'm gonna put it a little lower. Just a little lower. Uh, real quick, I'll say real quick though. I'm gonna be doing voice uh, voiceovers for this uh, this playthrough. I haven't really came into the. I just got this game yesterday, and I got up to like I said, I got to the first investigation. I didn't really learn every person's voice that I wanted to do, so it's gonna be great. We're gonna we're gonna learn together. It's gonna be fun, fun, fun. Um, I remember putting everything on normal, and then we'll just play it from there. I'll narrate everything, and uh, yeah, it's my boy Monokuma, bro. That's the boy right there. Don't get mad at me if I start uh I start driving out to this. This is this is my shit. Oh, oh, that's the game and shit. Okay. First game. Uh, that's that's the second game. I hate Monami. I, people who are watching this clearly played the games already or know about Dongarumpa at least. You should not be starting here. If you wanted to learn more about the game you can watch other youtubers play it uh, I know Berlisi did it and a couple of others people uh, other people did it so you know watch them oh, I mean watch the anime too in my opinion um, I don't think the anime really does the game justice I started off watching the anime the first one and I thought it was alright but then like I watched a couple people play the game and then I decided to play it for myself it's definitely better on the game 100% play the game what is this? This story is not over. As it shouldn't. This is it's really fire. It's really, really fire. If you were if I know you don't want to hear my opinion, but I think the second game is the better out of the out of the series. I think it's it has more goaded characters. It's just more goaded characters. Like Makoto is fire as fuck. We all know this. But I think the second game definitely has more goaded characters. I mean if you think about it. It is like I'm playing it again for the first time, cause I'm not gonna hold you. I don't really remember anything besides the first, the first death. I do know the first kill. We're gonna be finding out these voices uh, ourselves. Oh shit, my bad. Nothing. This is. I can't tell you who it is. I, I guess that's spoiler. It's very minor, but <clears throat> I will do a girl's voice for this. Nothing. No light. No sound. No form. No voice. No knowledge of who I am. Okay, real quick. Doing voiceovers is hella cringe for me. So, <laughs> do not roast me. I'm not a voice actor. I'm just some dude on the internet. Who am I? Who am I? I extend a hand. A hand that belongs to no one. 
to take hold of my existence. She's kind of a baddie. This is me. I hope she's of age. Her, her, her art style is is attractive to my eyes. If she's my underage, I take Kaede it all back. Akamatsu. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. I just remembered who I am. I just remembered who I am. Nice to meet me. Actually, you got it. I'm the protagonist of this crazy story. Ultimate Revival. Mangan Romba. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, hold on one second. One second, one second, one second. Just making sure that my voice is being captured. Alright, cool, cool, cool. fell on the floor. You got it? I couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. You got it? But thanks to that, to the pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Huh? Huh? Where am I? What is this place? I rubbed my throbbing forehead. Yep, this is definitely gonna leave a bump. I looked around. Playing with a controller, by the way. Classroom. I hear the controls on on PC are a little wonky. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even, we're not even gonna try it. A classroom? Yeah, this is a classroom, all right. But I don't recognize it. Where am I? Where am I? What am I doing here? Let me say it. Let me say it. Let me say it. I I wanna I wanna ah. I wanna wear that. Oh, is this a dream? I just have to pinch myself, right? <laughs> So I pinched my cheek, but all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Um. Um. Okay. Hold on a sec. Let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end, I just couldn't. <laughs> Whoa. Suddenly the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened then. A boy came stumbling out. A normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student too. He looked bewildered and when he suddenly lifted his head, Ah! He screamed as if he'd just seen a monster. He fell on his butt and scooted back. Ah. Whoa! Who are you? Are you with those other guys? Huh? What other guys? The people who kidnapped um. me. Kidnap? Wait! Wh where am I? What are, you, what are you gonna do to me? Hey! Hey! Hold on! I firmly gripped it. I firmly gripped his shoulders. No. What's your name? Huh? Huh? Uh, um... Uh, I'm Shuichi Saihara. Yeah. I'm Kaede Akamatsu. Now listen to me, Shuichi. Got it? Shut up! You're the only one who's confused right now. You're... N oh. You're not the only one who's confused right now. Huh? Calm down. Come in and have a heart. Ah, sorry. After making him shut up, I retraced my steps again. That's right. I was kidnapped too. I was walking my usual route to school she kind when of a all thicky. of a sudden she someone kind of shoved thick. me into a car. If she's overage, if she isn't underage, then take me, take me. I, I surrender, please. I was walking my usual route to school when all of a sudden someone shoved me into a car. I shouted for help, but no one came to rescue me. You got it. Everyone pretended like nothing happened. Let me do it. It made me and then I lost consciousness. Okay. That's right. And when I woke up, I was inside that locker. Huh? Same with me. We're kidnapped by the same people. Uh it seems like it. Jeez. 
But why me? My family's not rich, and I'm no one special. I'm just a normal high school girl. Just like Hajime and Makoto, just normal people. There's no reason to kidnap me. Uh, okay. Me either. I'm just a regular guy. And this is a school, right? Why did they take us to a school? Um. With his voice, I'm kind of doing like a... I don't know if y'all remember even how Nagito's voice in the second game sounded. But that's 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 what I'm going for here. I don't know. I like Nagito's voice. So I just thought I should bring it back. You know what I mean? So we'll see how that goes. I wonder why. Uh, hey there, I'm sure you're confused right now. I think this is a game talking. Hey there, I'm sure you're confused right now. You're thinking, where am I? Well, I can't explain that, but I can give a basic explanation about the controls. Use the left stick to control the reticle on the screen. When you have a target in your sights, press the A button to investigate it. Real quick though, I'm going to be playing this until pretty much the point where I, uh, I played from last time where I discovered the body. I might play I might do the investigation. That depends on how long the, the, the actual video is taking, so disclaimer. The right stick controls your view, get a good look at your surroundings. You can also press the RB button to smack objects around. Who knows, you might find something amazing. You can always press the LB button to return objects to their original position so relax. However, not every object can be moved. Thank you for understanding. Cool. If you press the Y button, a mysterious investigate power will, inve uh, will activate. Sorry, I know this is a lot of information, but if you forget anything, you can press the start button to review the control. Yeah, start. Uh, investigate this place thoroughly. That's how you progress the story, you know. Alright. Wait, coins. I didn't do this on my first playthrough. This is how you get the, the, the mono coins. You beat everything up. Damn. That table that table's strong. Okay. You're getting rich. I don't know about you, Shuichi, but uh I get my money up before getting my before I get my money up. Move! You want a gift or what? You want a gift or not? Move out of the way. Alright. Alright, let's go straight into this. Um. Anyway, let's just stay calm and think. I'm sorry I shouted at you earlier. No. Ah, oh, no, it's okay. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Hey. Anyway, this place is weird. You don't think we got caught up in something bad, do you? Uh. Something bad? going on what have we gotten ourselves into damn i got a splitting headache all right let's just bust wait can i in right there i don't care get out of here where am i why was i kidnapped who kidnapped me i don't understand this at all but that doesn't matter at least for now hey let's just get out of here as fast as we can and find some help okay yeah good idea we ran as fast as we could to the classroom door and opened it with all our strength. It does not look that heavy. Calm down. Hell yeah! Found you! You know what that looks like? I don't know if you guys, any of you guys play League of Legends here. Like the dots on his eye, it kind of reminds me of that Kog'Maw skin. Whatever. I, I'm the only one who plays League of Legends, fuck y'all. Hell yeah, I found you. What? What? A, a monster? A monster? <laughs> this is bad. We need to get out of here. Uh, okay. Wait, 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 when they, wait, when they wait, do their own voice acting, hey. I'm just gonna let that play. <laughs> I remember this. Just gotta run away from this dude. I'm out of here. You don't gotta tell me twice. Excuse me. Excuse me. Now, Mr. Zago, thank you.
I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and play the investigation. Because I stopped right as we found the body, and I actually want to progress in this game and figure out what the fuck happened. So this, 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 this. Alright, bro. Don't go over there. Go, don't go that way, over here. I think that's what he said. I didn't even read that shit. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, uh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez, what are those things? Yep, you're not going to be catching me here today. to the gym. Sorry, excuse me for a second. As we frantically dove toward the door, we saw something we never expected to see. Oh, the boys. more people have arrived. Huh? I'm gonna let it slide because they're, they're definitely gonna voice act themselves. Save me the energy. I need it, please. Oof, Did you all dead. get chased by that monster too? Uh, oh, yeah. What are they? What do they want with us? So looking at this cast, you know, they're all they there's some new zany characters here. Oh, I can't make any predictions. I kind of I kind of saw a little bit into who they are, so I was gonna make predictions based on that. But I'll, I'll give you time to like, I'll give you time to, to to learn them with me, or at least where I I learned up to. Then I'll make my predictions on who. Who's gonna kill? Who's gonna live? Who's gonna die? We'll see. Who are they? What do they want with us? Do you us? want me to check on what's happening? Oh, I don't know who's talking, so I'm just gonna read this in a normal voice. Do you want me to check on what's happening? You can't! It's too dangerous out there! It's likely that monster still lurks nearby. I know who that is. That's that Wait. Orochimaru dude. Oh, I should do an Orochimaru voice for him. I might have to look up Orochimaru video. And, and and try to copy that. He looks like some. It's um the dude with the the long green hair in the back. I'm not gonna tell you his ultimate, but who are you guys? He got a weird ass voice. It's why am I here? And that makes sixteen. What? Sixteen. Okay. I'm talking about us. There are sixteen of us, all high schoolers. What do you think that means? It means you can count. Good job. Oh. Oh, right. They didn't answer your question. My name is Rantaro Omami. I can give you my name. It's Rantaro... Hold up, sorry. I'm gonna cut that out. I wish I didn't see that. I can give you my name. It's Rantaro Mami. I'm sorry, but... Let's leave it at that for now. What? Hmm. Um, okay. You know... Anyway, why does it matter if there are 16 of us? There might be more coming. No. If any, If anybody sounds too similar, uh, let me know. Mm -hmm. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want similar sounding people. What? Like, this chick, I don't know what the fuck to do for her. If this... If this is what you think it is... Hey! What, you some kind of fucking know-it-all? If you know something, spit it out! It was at that moment, an unknown voice suddenly echoed throughout the gym. Okie dokie! Okay, quiet everyone, shimmy down, shimmy down! Oh. No, 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 it's Simmer down! What? Uh-huh, who's that? Where are they? Goddamn Gundam Voltron. Thanks for marrying with, marrying with us. us. This is a weird watch. Are you serious? Damn it, there are more monsters. We're surrounded. Ah! These aren't monsters, they're exosols. And that's that! They're highly mobile bipedal weapon platforms. Huh? We weapons? Hell yeah! Should we take these for a spin by killing one of them? Ah! Um, yeah, wait a minute. It wouldn't be any fun picking on playing good for nothing, commoners. <laughs> you're right, we should at least think of an interesting way to kill you. Maybe I'll pick you up and squeeze you till your guts come gushing out like toothpaste. Wait, 
please, no. Not like the toothpaste. Ugh, I just imagined it. I can't handle gold. Well? Then what if we start peeling off their limbs one by one like string cheese? That's crazy. Please, not like string cheese either. Remind me of, uh, her face there remind me of Kazuichi if y'all remember him. I hate that character, bro. He has such a big fan base, and I don't get why. He sucks. Wait, we can't kill them. Same with people who like Hero. Why you like Hero? They're useless. We can't kill them with the Exosols. According to the schedule, the Exosols aren't supposed to show up till later. What are you saying? But we're in the Exosols right now. Ah. Oh, so we are. <laughs> we screwed up. We're not supposed to be in the Exosols for our first appearance. I told you you should have read the script. What are you saying? No, you didn't. <laughs> well, why don't we just get out of these mechs? It shouldn't be too late for that. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. So. Let us do that. Okay, ready? Three, four, five. There's five. Mono Taro. Mono Ske. Mono Fanny. Fanny. Mono Bam. Mono Kid. With our powers combined. Damn, that's bright. With our powers combined, let's go. We are the Mono Cubs. Nice. Oh, he dabbed on them. I seen that. They're dabbing. Don't dab on me. This is, nah, we can shake right in this gym right now, bro. Don't dab on me. Anyways, huh? Hey. See, we're the exos. Exosuls. Now we're not scary anymore, right? 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 His desperation is strangely terrifying. You guys ready? You punk asses better brace yourselves. <laughs> and he's just outright terrifying. That's right. These dudes act like they don't know each other. Y'all know each other. Stop playing. I'm a messenger from hell, from the depths of hell, here to drag you down to hell. Hey. No, no, Mono Kid, you're saying hell too much. It's ruining the hellish impact. Hey. Hey, what's hellish mean? What? Hey. What's up with these stuffed animals? How are they moving? I have no idea. Moving stuffed animals? Yeah. On top of that, it seems like they're calling themselves the Monocrush. I'm using Gundam for this guy, because he has a deep voice. I'm just, I just, I'm just putting two into it. I'm not a voice actor. Let me slide, please. I, uh, you're making me self-conscious, and it's just me and you here, bro. We're supposed to be friends, me and you. Don't look at me like that. I'm trying my best. This is, this, it's making me cringe. Moving stuffed animals? Mono cubs? Huh? Wait, you guys call yourself the Mono Cubs? So. That guy's my favorite. He don't talk. Oh, don't bother asking Mono, Dan. He only talks to close friends. The years of abuse have really done a number on his heart. Isn't that right, Mono Dan? Hey, beep boop boop. Yeah. Mono Dan, you won't open your heart to me? I see. Looks like I was right. This is exactly what I thought it was. For him, I'm doing like a, like a kind of relaxed type. He looks like a relaxed dude, bro. He's just chilling. But who's behind all this? Why the ridiculous theatrics? Shut up! Gah, shut up! All of you are reacting way too normally to this. It's boring. Actually, don't their clothes seem kind of boring to you? Wait a minute. You think maybe they haven't been given their first memory yet? Huh? That should happen. That should have happened before they woke up. Hey, answer my question. If you guys were the Mono Cubs, then hey, who the hell are you, punks? Huh? Huh? That is. What do I see? She also seems like a reserved person to me, and I keep using reserved voices for a lot of these characters, so it's gonna be hard to like try to. Well, I'll have to come into her, bro. Hopefully, she 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 goes crazy like one like most of these characters in these games do, so I can you know have some diversity with it. What? We're just wondering, do you guys have ultimate talents or anything like that? Ultimate talents? No. I don't have one. I have a skill that I devote myself to, but I wouldn't call it an ultimate talent. Uh, um, Me either. I don't have anything like that. Okay. Yeah, same here. Told you so! I knew it. They haven't gotten their first memory hey. yet. Mono fin Fanny, weren't you in charge of that? She reminds me of Monami. I don't like Monami. Hmm? She's sleeping? Did she seem 
really tired to you guys? You stupid. She's obviously faking it. I don't say fuck it, bro. Yeah. <sighs> Even if she's faking, she looks so peaceful. Let's whisper so we don't wake her up. <laughs> if you say so. Um. Anyway, if you guys really are the Monocubs, then don't worry about us. The real issue is you bastards. The real issue is putting in Miley. This is actually a huge problem. He's all use, use, right? So I can do something with that. He's all forgotten your talent to become generic high school students. Huh? Forgotten? See, according to the backstory, there's this ultimate hunt going on. You've all lost your memories to become different people because of the ultimate hunt. Um, what are you talking about? Oh, well, well in, your, in your current state, it's pretty much pointless to talk to you guys about this. The first thing we need is you guys to do... Need you guys to do is remember your true selves. Right. Yeah, you need to reclaim your seal talents by regaining your memories. What, what the? Are you awake already? Why? I don't get it. What are these seal talents you're talking about? Uh, How are we supposed to talk when you keep asking so many freaking questions? Uh, yeah, we're not some swift-footed singer who's landed another future ex-boyfriend. What does that mean? Me too, Mono. Oh, well. Let's do this already. No one's to, no one wants to watch a bunch of generic high school whiners. That's right. First, we'll update your wardrobe so you guys look all cute and spiffy. I'm gonna get a, for him. I'm gonna try to be like like metal and shit and loud. Sorry if I curse. It is what it is. Don't throw clothes at me. Don't throw clothes at me. Sailor Moon, that's what this is. I think she has to do with like music or whatever. She got some big old emblem on her chest. God, thanks for the save. Big, big emblem on her chest. Huh? What am I wearing? Oh, nice. mm, you look good. Now you look like you look more like Ultimates. Huh? Ultimates? Really? So. Next up, the memory you've all been waiting for. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Get ready. Once the seal is broken, we'll be in the domain of the killing game. Bars. Killing game? All right. Now then, after the flashback light helps you remember your amazing talents, this amazing story will begin for real this time. So long, farewell. Avida say goodbye. If y'all know that, y'all know that. I barely know it, honestly, but I do remember the jingle. Name. Alright, I'm trying to see my best to see if I can see piano, friends. Ah, I couldn't read that much more than that. Okay, do I want to save? Of course I want to save. What are you, stupid? Don't be silly. Of course I want to save. This is, like I said, that. I got up to the investigation on that one. Let's just ignore that one, alright? That doesn't exist. This, whoa, this is the first time I'm playing this game. Wow. Oh my god, this is so cool. Would you like to... No. Ultimate Revival. Down the number. Please. I just wanted one. Kaida. Huh? Yo, you're... You're well endowed for a high schooler. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. Ugh. I couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. That can suck. Oh, I have a headache too. Same. See, personification, bro. I'm throwing my... I'm in, this is my... Uh, the fuck they call those characters that you... you Self-insert characters? I forgot what they're called. You let me know. But thanks to that, I went from a dazed to, I went from dazed to annoyed real huh? quick. Huh? Where am I? What is this place? I rubbed my throbbing head forward. Yep, this is definitely gonna leave a bump. I looked around. A classroom? A classroom? Yeah, this is a classroom alright, but I don't recognize Where it. Where am I? Where am I? What am I doing here? Okay. Is this a dream? I just have to pinch myself, right? 
so I pinched my cheek. But all that did was make my head hurt in two different, two places instead of one. Um. Um, okay, hold on a sec. Let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, tried, in the end, I just couldn't. I, you got that. I can't, I, can, I don't have the voice for that. Don't, you, you want me to moan on the mic? That's, that's more of a problem on you than on me. Suddenly, the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened and... It's my boy Shuichi. A boy came stumbling out. <coughs> a normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student too. They really recycled the whole shit. He looked bewildered and when he slowly lifted his head... Yeah. Haru, don't freak out while I'm... Don't freak out at me like I'm some sort of monster. Huh? Uh, sorry. Uh... I'm sorry too, okay? I just have no idea what's going on. Yeah. But all the more reason why we need to stay calm. Oh, Gymnopede number one by Eric Satie. Yeah, that's right. Try to imagine that sorrowful melody filling in your head and soothing your heart. She keeps dropping, like, classical music references, and I'm just like... Yeah, me too. Genepede Satie number one by no Genepede whatever by Eric Satie. Of course, I remember that one. That so 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 calming. I love it. I miss Monokuma. Rise and shine, Earth sign. You got that? Huh? A teddy bear? Oh, no, it's a monster. You can freak out about this. <laughs> I don't think she was talking to you. That's so mean. Humans are the real monsters for calling us monsters. Although, if we are monsters, at least we're pretty monsters. I'll say this though, their designs are pretty cool. I agree, I'm glad I was born with these looks. I definitely won the genetic lottery. Huh? What are they? Why are they talking? Aren't they just stuffed animals? We're not we're not mono cubs, we're the stuffed animals. Hey! Psst, mono kid, you're saying your lines backwards. Hey. He's gonna talk pretty gangster, that's what I'm doing with him. No stuffed animals, us! The mono cubs done! So you and you and mono kid are my favorite. I don't know how I feel about the the scarf kid and mm, fucking monomy part three or two. Oh jeez, it's even worse now. Huh? Mono Cubs? Oh, you've heard of us? Oh, no, of course not. I've never seen walking, talking, stuffed animals. As soon as I did that, these Mono Cub things started looking at each other and... Yay! It worked! Phew! Had me worried there for a second. Hey, worried about what? I don't understand what's going on. Alright now, let's tackle each issue one at a time. You did not say that. You're so damn reliable, Monotaro. He's like a sixth grader helping out a fifth grader. Hey. Which means we should keep our expectations reasonable. Um. Well, what's your what's your question? I have loads of questions, but for starters, where are we? This looks like a school. Okay, so this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Um. Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles? Hmm. Ultimate Academy? I've never heard of a school like that. Play the games. Play play the first one, the second one. You watch the anime, really. Damn, read the manga. Get up to date, bro. That's right. Of course you have it. This school was made for you 16 Cretans. Rude. Huh? 16? That's right. Yeah, there are 16 Ultimates at this school. Huh? huh? Ultimates? Well. You know the you know what ultimates are, right? The government scouts him through this program called the Ultimate Initiative. Actually, Ultimate basically means you're particularly prodigious and a particular talent. <gasps> basically, the Ultimate Initiative exists to cultivate talent throughout the country. Promising students are eligible to receive all kinds of special handouts. Um, like free school tuition, voting privileges, eligibility to run for elected office. They even get grant money too, right? That's right! Students chosen by the Ultimate Initiative are known as Ultimates. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Students would do anything for the honor of being a chosen Ultimate. Um. 
I don't need the exam the explanation. I already know because I'm in Ultimate 2. What? That means you gotta remember this time, so don't forget anymore. Aww. Yeah, forgetting about your ultimate talent is such a waste. Huh? Huh? What do you mean, forgetting? Shut up! Shut up, quit your yapping and get started already. Huh? Get started with what? Saturn. Why exploring this academy, of course. Well... Also, you should introduce yourselves to the ulti all the ultimates. Because you guys are all gonna do activity do an activity together later. Awesome! I've got a rager right now. Well then, let me see. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. So long, farewell. So long, farewell. I do that say goodbye. Ah, they left, but I still have so many questions. Hey, this isn't a dream, right? Uh, no, but I wish it was. Anyways, we have to find a way out of here. But they said there are 16 ultimate students here. Does that mean he's one too? Bop, 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 bop. Well, I'm farming. So can I do this with like every classroom and interact with? Damn, that that desk is so fucking annoying. Do they call a desk in Japanese? It's, it's it. I also love this OST. It's fire. It has a it has bits of the second game, you know, some hints of the first game, but it also comes into itself really well to make it stand as its own standalone song. It's fire, I love it. Sorry, uh, I'm sorry if I'm I'm, I'm raining a little bit here. I'm just trying to make some money with it while I uh. So I can buy these with gifts, man. These are inverted. Oh, uh, fuck with everything. It's inverted, I think. I wonder if he's one too, I'll just ask him. We woke up inside these lockers, but why were in why were we in these lockers in the first place? Hey! Um, are you an ultimate student too? Uh, okay. Yeah, well then, I'm, I'm Shuichi Sayada. They call me. The ultimate detective, but... Okay. Huh? What? You're a detective? That's amazing! No. Ah, uh, no, I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective yet. I just happened to solve a case that I came across, and now people call me that. No. Not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Oh, She's positive, yeah. I like her. My oh, yeah. My name is Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. Nice to meet you. Penis. Oh, real quick. Hmm. Again, for like the umpteenth time. I'm really glad that you're um you're playing as a girl this time. I guess it kind of switches things though. Ultimate penis? Yeah. Well, no one calls me the ultimate penis. Usually just piano freak. Ever since I was a child, I would play the piano whenever I got bored. There were even times I played the piano so much that I would forget to eat and sleep. Eventually, I won trophies from concerts, and people started praising me. That's how you got your ultimate title? That's way more impressive than me. See? That's not all you told you? No. That's why I'm doing the voice. That's all I'm good for, really. It's self deprecating as fuck. Well, ultimates are scattered all over the country. They're difficult to find. Even so, there are 16 ultimate students gathered here now. But why is everyone here? Were we kidnapped? Mm. If so, then is some organization out there trying to kidnap all the ultimates? Hey! Uh, about that. I don't remember. Huh? Huh? You don't remember? Uh, um... I've been trying to remember it, but I can't no matter how hard I try. I have no idea how I got here. When I woke up, I was in that locker. I don't know how I got there. It's like the memory just fell out of my head. Uh, Same here, huh? Huh? You know? I can't remember anything. Even though I'm trying so hard to remember. Doesn't that remind you of uh, the New World program? That's what I'm. That's also a, a, 
a thought that I'm gonna entertain for a little bit. What happened? But they have a they have a they have a habit of like putting old motifs from the other games and then throwing them on top of their head. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's entirely a new thing. And I also hear that this game, you know, narratively wise is not the same. Like it's in a different universe or something. So I, I there's no way they don't reference the other game at all. So I wanna see what they do with that. Uh, are you okay? What's mm -hmm. wrong? Oh, I'm just fine. I just got a headache, that's all. But it can't be coincidence that we both don't remember what happened to us. La, la, la. Um. For me, this song reminds me of this character because she, she plays piano and there's a lot of piano in this. It's also really jazzy. It's calm. I, it's dope. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Probably not a big deal. Right? We're confused. We just need to relax, is all. Oh, let's imagine Maurice's Maurice Ravel's sonatine. That's okay. Is that music? I don't really know much about I music. See. I see. That's unfortunate. When we get out of here, I'll share it with you. All right. But first, let's look for a way out. And if there are other ultimate students here, we should talk to them too. At least one of them has got to know something. You're right. Yeah. Good idea. So if I remember correctly, there should be a, a classroom to my right, and I can't interact with it. So things that I'm, I, I, I can remember from the game, I'm gonna try to like avoid it so we can move along quicker. Even though it's a hallway, there are sure a lot of plants growing around here, and the air here is heavy. Oppressively heavy, as if it's forcing you to recall your fears, smothering you in anxiety. But this is just school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like this? Hmm. Hmm. What's the matter? What's the matter? Uh, um... I just felt something in the pocket of my uniform when I looked. Remember? I found this inside. It's some kind of mini tablet computer. Uh. Oh, maybe I have one too. I knew my backpack felt heavier. I don't know if at all if that's a... If that's like a... A plot hole or whatever. I don't think she came here with a backpack, did she? Or she's just... That's just an observation. I'm stupid. Keep it going. Play the game. Alright, I'll do my best. Astute, it's an astute observation, though. I can give her props for that. Maybe I'm the dumb one. My bad. The word monopad is written on it. When did this get in my back... When did this get in my backpack? Hmm. My name was displayed when it booted up. Like a student handbook. I don't know what it could be used for, but I don't think we should throw it away. Let's just hold on to them for now. Yeah, yeah I agree. Congratulations, you can now use the monopad. Press the X button on the mark button to open the monopad. It's got tons of game information in it. Stuff like the report card and map, be sure to check it out. And if you've got a sharp eye, you may have already noticed, by getting close to your fellow students, your report card will be updated with content. Since you are now acquaintances with Mr. Saihara, his info has already been added. And I bet you've also noticed, already noticed, you can level up by performing actions. When you level up your skill shots, and when you level up, your skill slots increase so you can equip even more skills. There are a lot of skills, so view them in the report card. If you want skills, make if you want skills, make friends. Strengthen your bonds. Be sure to test out all the skills. Also, there's one more important thing to tell you. You can save and load the game from the handbook. Make sure you save all the important stuff. Well then, off you go. Find your classmates. So, as far as the BGM goes, I... Alright, first I'll save. So we can have a... Freak it, bro. Now there's no way I can go back to it. Alright, um... Option. I'll put the BGM. I'll put the BGM up. I like it. It's really good. Um, as far as the oh, it's not inverted. I thought it was. I felt like it was for a little bit. I can't go in here. I can't go in there. So we'll just streamline it so it's a lot quicker. Oh, you can see the map. Oh wait, no. First I'll look at this. 
Oh my god, I just made a realization. I just made a realization. Hmm. I can't say. It's a spoiler. No. I have no idea. Hmm. Maybe it's part of the school's official art collection or something. Uh, um... Still, no idea. Thank you. So helpful, Mr. Detective. Um... Hey, you're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Hmm, did you not hear me? Okay, then. Hey, hello! What? She still can't hear me? Maybe she's a really detailed mannequin. No. No, I don't think that's the case. No. You never know. We've already saw a moving teddy bear. As I said that, I poked her cheek. And felt her skin squish beneath my fingertip. Um... Poking her doesn't work either, then maybe she is just a dog. Oh, she looks so real. Try it, Chuichi. Huh? Poke, poke. Ah, no thanks. Just do it, it's so fun. As I grab his hand and make him poke her other cheek. I never thought I'd be poked from both sides. A truly unexpected Ah! I see. So she wasn't a mannequin. Well, I knew that. Wait! If you knew that, why did you make me poke her? Huh? Because she wasn't responding. No. Oh, I didn't mean any harm. I was just deep in thought. So I thought if I ignored you, you'd go somewhere else. You were ignoring us? Isn't that a bit rude? What? Uh, well, isn't it rude to force someone to talk when they don't want to? Oh, but it's fine. I feel like talking oh, now. Hey. Now let's talk. What do you want to start with? Right. My f Okay, I didn't watch Doraemon, so... And even if I did, I it's really, really, really weird to just be like, Oh, episode 53, line 23 on... Minute two, like, how am I supposed to know? My favorite Doraemon episode is number 53, the one with security cameras and target practice. You know? Um, before you talk about that, can you tell us your name? Oh, my name is Tamuki Shirogane. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. Okay. Good for you. You're also pretty well endowed. So you're a cosplayer? Yes. Are you surprised? I get that a lot since I'm so plain. No. I mean, it sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost sexy aura about you. Okay. Keep that going, I guess. <laughs> I bet it's because you've got people ogling all your curves on a daily basis, huh? Who ogling her curves? Who, who, who ogling? Not me. Not me. Um. Kaede, you sound like a creepy old man. Normally, I don't really like people looking at me like that. Actually, I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them, but lately more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. You're right! I'd rather wear my outfits myself with love than give them to people like that. Mm. Whoa, you're pretty intense. Oh. It makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I've made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that are just plain expensive. I see. Oh well, of course the ultimate cosplayer would have son yeah. sponsors. It's not a big deal. People just crowd around like I'm a panda at the zoo. Mm. Are you flexing? Are you flexing? I can play show punk. That shit is hard. I will school you right now. In fact, let's head to the music room. Don't, don't, don't flex on me. We just met. And I'm sucking you too? That's so amazing. You're pretty much a celebrity, you know? Hey. Damn, bro, I'm trying to... Alright, whatever. Ah, uh, is it alright if I ask you something, too? Earlier you looked as if you were thinking hard about something. Yeah, what was it? Right. Oh, yeah, we needed to ask her about that. Nice job, Shuichi. It's from that one thing! Ah, uh, that brown... Sorry, my nephew just hit me up on scene. I definitely gotta say what's up with him. It's my nephew, I love that guy. Ah, oh, that bronze statue over there. I'm just playing curious about it. La, la, la. Um. It's almost as it almost seems like it's floating, right? Doesn't it look pretty out of place? Yeah. Now that you mention it, you're right. Sorry, I'm sorry. Ooh.
This is a school, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? There's trees and grass growing outside. I can't find any ex exits. And it seems like we're the only people here. Are we gonna be okay? Are we gonna be able to get out? Um... Kaede. <clears throat> Kaede, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that frightened look on her face was sort of sexy. <laughs> Calm down. This again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, it's not a big deal. Our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good and dandy. You're pretty optimistic, Kaede. Mm. Well, people do say I'm carefree. Yeah, that's right. Worry won't get you anywhere, you know? It's better to just be carefree. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Being all depressed won't help anything. Yeah. True. Yeah, so let's f try to find a way out. Sumigi's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Okay. I... Like, is there a way I can, like... Sorry. I just want to see if I can just... Mess with the... Radical speed. That's just a reticle. That's not like actual like. Right? Does that work? Like I wanna be able to move quicker, but whatever. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let it bug me down that much. Alright, let's see. We'll go start with whoever this is. Ah, oh, that's my boy. Hey. Oh hey there. You guys get kidnapped too? Well, you both look alright, that's yeah. good. Situation could be better though. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Okay. Hey, let me ask you something. Do you guys remember how you got here? Um. If you're asking us, then you don't remember either, do you? Actually. <laughs> you're the same way too, huh? You don't remember anything, do you? I guess that means everyone here is the same. Huh? Huh? Everyone? No. I asked the others too. They all said they don't remember. So the others don't remember either. You got me. It's like we all have amnesia or something. But, uh, but that's not normal. If everyone here has amnesia... That means... Well, I guess we're all in a pretty abnormal situation then. Huh? Uh, what? That's not true. <sighs> One more time. Sorry, again. It's my nephew. Family. You gonna make me stop a family? You guys got family too. Wait, amnesia is a stretch. We should probably. We're probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember eventually. Or it could be group hypnosis. Maybe brainwashing. <laughs> In any case, I hope we remember soon. That's a shame. Otherwise, I'll end up the outcast. Mm. The outcast? What do you mean? How should I put this? To tell you the truth. To tell you the truth. How I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. What? You got me. Phew. <laughs> I'm in... I'm in trouble. I know I must have been some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Is that true? Oh, yeah. Of course it is. But then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. Oh. Oh, I never told you my name, did I? It's not like I already told you. But then I forgot I did, right? No. No, you haven't told me your name yet. My name is Rantaro my name is... Mondo. You got it. I can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment. You got to hold up. Just getting another drink. Really helps with getting into the characters' uh, personas, in my opinion. But I promise, I'm not a bad guy. Not nice sponsored. But I promise, I'm not a bad guy. Nice to meet you. For someone who can't remember his talent, he doesn't seem too shaken up about it. Is it weird that I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't remember my own talent? Huh? What? Looking forward to it. You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what ultimate I am. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway. 
It'd be nice if we could get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. Stop that. We'll escape soon. You really think it's gonna be that easy? Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Nothing. Just a feeling. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, alright? I thought he would be a pretty chill guy to talk to, but... I have no idea what's going through his head right now. Checking the doors. I don't know if this is entirely integral to the plot, so I'm gonna do it for uh, speed's sake. It's just a normal bathroom. Shuichi. Hmm. I don't know. The, the basement might be dangerous. This place is full of mysteries. I don't know, the basement might be dangerous. This place is full of mysteries. That's right. Then let's proceed with caution. With you at the front. Okay. Ah, uh, so I'm at the front, I see. With hesitant. With hesitant. With hesitant Shuichi leading the way. Oh yeah, yeah. With hesitant Shuichi leading the way. We carefully made our way down the stairs. For a second that didn't that didn't really process for me. Uh, for some reason the there would be a lot more easier to digest. Straight to the library. Um, Doesn't look very dangerous to me. Really? Uh, well, some dangers are hidden where you can't see. I see. Shuichi, you have quite the imagination, don't you? No. No. I just think you're not considering how dangerous this is. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But we should look around the basement, too. Right? There might be an exit. Oh, but we should be careful. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. I'm a bad habit of going through this door. I did it like four times. She's fly. I like her outfit. As soon as I opened the door, I suddenly gagged from the, gagged from the musty smell of old books. Hmm. Is this a library? You're right. There are books all over the place. It doesn't seem very organized. Uh. Oh, does that bother you? Are you a neat freak, Shuichi? No. No, it's just I was wondering if someone was using it before us. Huh? Huh? Someone? No. Ah, it's nothing. Let's just investigate for now. Go straight to you. Hey. Um, are you an ultimate student too? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Huh? Is that it? She sure doesn't talk much. I... I'm Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. I'm... I'm Shuichi Saihara, and I'm the ultimate detective, I suppose. Jeez. Okay, Nagito had an air of, 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 of bravado with the way he talked most of the time, but when he was being self-deprecating, it was, it got pretty... So I'm trying to do a mix of both of them. Jeez, it's not... Suppose you are the ultimate detective, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Um... And what about you? Maki Harukawa, ultimate child caregiver. I see. Ultimate child caregiver, huh? <sighs> Surprised I don't look like someone who'd like kids, do I? Huh? That's huh. right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. Um... But if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. Mm -hmm. But they say kids are very intuitive. If they like you that much, hey. then they can pro then they can probably tell how loving you are, Maki. You really are, Maki. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. Wrong. It wasn't my choice to begin with. Huh? huh? What do you mean by that? So what? Nothing. It just, it's just I grew up in an orphanage and got saddled with helping out a lot. Orphanage, huh? Um, I see. Uh, by the way, do you know anything about the mono cubs? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, something. Someone's got to be controlling them, right? Any idea who it might be? Like I'd know. How would I know? Hmm. Well, fair point. Hmm. 
The monocubs are definitely involved in our situation. Mm -hmm. Hey, boy detective, shouldn't you have figured out what's going on already? Huh? Huh? Um... Well, he's a detective, not a god. He can't know everything. Yeah. I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. Well... Seriously? You think we can escape? Abducting ultimates from across the country would require massive resources and planning. What makes you think a group of a group capable of that would let us just walk out of here? That's not true. If they won't end this, then we will. I know we can do it if we work together. Yeah. Work together with strangers? You're a naive fool if you think you can end this so easily. Maki's report card has been updated based on your experience earlier. Bet. Peace. Our conversation finished, she quickly headed out of the library. Hmm. That was kind of odd. She didn't seem like the ultimate caregiver. Jeez. Jeez, don't say that. Um. I remember checking out the I wonder if it's important. What a beautiful goal. Alright, I'm just gonna assume it's not. But I believe, yep. like a game room but this is in a school right is it normal for a school to have its own game room well. not mine actually my college did it certainly is strange what now sheesh what a strange place when i heard we were trapped here i didn't expect we'd have a game room. Um. are we really trapped in here there must be an exit right you've still got a ways to go isn't that what you guys are walking around looking for? Then figure it out yourself. Yeah. Oh, okay. However, we may be trapped, but it's pretty cool here, compared to prison anyway. Huh? P prison? But aren't you an ultimate... S you're an ultimate student, aren't you? That's an old story. Hmm, that's an old story. Ryoma Hoshi, the man called the ultimate tennis pro, no longer exists. I'm nothing more than his empty shell. Ah! Oh. Real Mahoshi, really? I've seen you in the newspaper. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down a mafia? Huh? You took down a mafia by yourself? If I remember correctly. The paper said he shot them through the head with his tennis skills in an iron ball. What the hell? Really? Hmm. <laughs> so you know that much already. Well, what do you think of the loser before you who used his talent to kill? Um. But why would you throw away your future like that? Jeez. Hmm. Because I didn't need a future anymore. Huh? Huh? No. No. It's nothing. It's nothing. No. It's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. More importantly. Anyway, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to just walk up to a killer like me. As he said that, he turned his back to us. Alright. Uh, I'm assuming that we're done here. Sorry if I'm not, like, in looking at things so hard. I don't think, per personally, I don't think it's incredibly important that I look at all this stuff right now. Because it's like the very beginning of the game, so it starts off really slowly. So I don't even know if I'm going to do the trial. I think I'm going to stop off exactly where I ended up before. Which, hey, it is what it is. Really quickly, I just want to see. I don't want it to look behind me. I don't have the, the strongest computer, so. If I can fuck with the, the video settings and make it like less try hard on my computer, I will do it. But I guess I can to see how it plays out. If it doesn't play well, then I'm just gonna assume that I can't stream it and then I'll just play it on my own. That sucks, that actually kind of blows, but... What are you gonna do? Do I have to look at that or not? I think it's upstairs. I can't go into the school store yet, to my knowledge.
Is this a dining hall? A dining hall definitely makes this place feel more like a school. But this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted and Juveniles. I doubt it's anything like a typical school. Let's start with you. I forgot your voice. It's kind of weird. Nah, so are we stuck here? Yeah, that's what it looks like. But don't be scared. I'm sure we'll be out of this place in a jiffy. No. I'm not scared. It's just a pain. Something like this won't make me panic because I'm a mage. Huh? A mage? Hmm. Hmm, that's right. I haven't told you guys yet. Prepare to be amazed. Prepare. Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeto, the ultimate maid. But I'm officially called the ultimate magician. I see. Oh, so you're a magician? You should have said that from the start. Mm. I mean, it makes sense, though, since magic doesn't exist. Uh -huh. Yeah, magic does exist. Huh? huh? I... Because I am a mage. Oh. You're just a magician, right? No. Only on paper. Okay. I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. I'm actually a mage. Huh? Just a ruse? Mm -hmm. You guys might not know them, but there's a group called the Magic Castle, also known as the Hall of Magicians. It's where the world's magic lovers gather. I was the youngest person to ever win their Magic of the Year award. That's pretty cool. Out. It's all a ruse. You? They're keeping my magic a secret by disguising it as tricks. Because of this ruse, I became famous all, or, all over the world for performing tricks. But I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. Nobody believes me. Um, there, there. Don't be sad. Hey. Well, you could show us your magic, then we would believe you. That's right. Oh, that's right. Help us out with your magic. Take us back to where we, when we were originally. No. Magic isn't all powerful. I can only do so much. Hmm. I see. So, then what can you You're do? You're right. I can choose the card you picked, pull out coins, and release doves. Yeah, if I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. Those are just ordinary magic tricks. Himiko's report card has been updated, updated, blah, 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 hoo, blah. Level 5, and no longer so fuck up the that one. Okay. You got it. You got it. I'm yelling so I can build up my spirit energy. Don't you know you can unlock your brain's full potential by yelling to build up spirit energy? Uh, I've heard that pro athletes do that. It's supposed to help you focus. I must be prepared for combat at all times, just in case someone tries to attack me. I will protect myself with Neo Aikido. Aikido, then you're... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm Tango Chabashira. You got it. Ultimate Aikido Master. Crop top. Ooh, I always imagined Aikido masters to be huge burly guys, but you're so cute. Cute. Neuron activated. Ah, uh, stop it. I'm, I'm not cute. My face crinkles when I suck down a... A shake. And when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out. What? Oh, my see, but I think you're cute, right, Chuichi? Okay. Huh? Uh, oh, right. <laughs> uh, Prince Green. Huh? What's the matter? Your face looks really intense now. Wait, wait, wait. I don't like to be praised by degenerate males. Mm. Degenerate males, you mean men? Are you uncomfortable around them? Yes! 
It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any degenerate tries to touch me, my reflex is to grab them and throw them across the room. Yeah. You're right, that is a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. Hey. Ah, by the way, what is this Neo Aikido you mentioned? That's right! Neo Aikido is an original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. So your Aikido is all self taught. It seems normal, but it's weird that plants are growing this thick. This is how I'm gonna get my money. Such a lame way to get money. I think it's kind of cringe. I think this should be a better way to make money. But I haven't figured that out just yet. Wait for me! Please stop! Please stop! Don't come any closer! She's not in her funny clothes. What's happening here? Wait. You know what? You know mama, you know mama gotta buy new bras, cause I'm growing bigger every day and my I take it back, probably disregard that. Damn, what is with that 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 one table that just that just takes all the hits? Excuse me, sorry buddy. Out of my way. Alright, cool. Let's talk to you first. Everyone seems to like this guy a lot. Um he seems interesting. Looks like he's gonna... Come on, wait up! Let me touch your body a little. I always wanted to be friends with a robot. Huh? What? A robot? What is, it? what is it? Are you another robophobe? That's enough. I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic remarks, I will see you in court. Hey. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for reals a robot? No. Are you one of the monocubs? Please stop! Do not compare me to those toys. I am not just an old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kiba. Um. Hmm. That's not fair. You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself too. Yeah. Um, go ahead. I'm Kokichioma, the ultimate supreme leader. Ooh. I don't know what that means. Are you like a... Uh, like Hitler or something? A robot and a supreme leader? I have that makes any sense. By the way... By the way, I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. How rude! My breath does not smell like gasoline. I'm powered by electricity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is not funny. You're not funny. Right? Of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Do not mock me! Don't mock me. I've studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. 
I think you should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying. Um, Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I'm a high school student just like you. I can hate this game, bro. Like, um, making this gameplay, I, I studied a lot of people. I watched a lot of people's gameplays and how they, uh, they went about doing these voices. There's nothing wrong with studying. There's nothing wrong with studying. I may have the appearance of a robot, robot, but I'm a high school student just like you. You're a high school student? Yeah. I was created by Professor Irabashi, the leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed in me a strong AI, capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. That's why at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But, but the professor raised me like I was his own child. He taught me so many things, until finally he enrolled me in high How school. About this? And now I stand here before you all? See, I'm just like everyone else. Hey, do... <laughs> hey, do robots have dicks? Hey! Please do not ask ridiculous questions. <laughs> I'm curious, though. I'm curious. No homo. I'm wearing socks. I, I, I'll show you, but... I'm No homo. <laughs> I only ask because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot on his ass. Let him slide. Well, I can see how being a robot might be enough to be called the ultimate robot. Hey, Kokichi. I don't really understand your ultimate supreme leader talent. Ah. Oh. I'm just the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That's all. What? What? Um... I gotta say it, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Huh? Seriously? The supreme leader of an evil secret organ- Because I'm a liar. Who knows? I'm a liar after huh? all. So you were just lying right now? It's There's true! No... Well, I am the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That part was true. Jeez. So were you lying or not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling you! Hey! Ah, by the way, what is the name of that organization? Ah. It's a secret, you know, because it's a secret organization. But I've never heard of such a, a large secret organization like that. Maybe. Of course you have it, because it's a secret organization. Maybe. Hey, everything he said so far has sounded like a lie. So that's gotta be a lie too, right? Yeah. Just leave him alone. Everything he's been saying has been a lie. He's a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> Well, of course you're not a suspicious person, because robots aren't people, silly. What's that? What is this? What is this? Huh? Okay, I don't know what that is. Grr. Oh, are you mad? Are you gonna hit me with a rocket punch? I can't. I don't have that function. Oh, man, you're boring. What a weird boy. He's like a mischievous little kid. This is no time to be joking around. Unless he really is an evil supreme leader. We are not boys. I wish I could know how long I've been recording for. I don't want it to go too long. This is still not open. I can't think of what I need to do. Uh, classmate, are you just in there? Oh, I didn't check the gym yet. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, what is this one? Warehouse. Oh, okay. So warehouse is pretty big. Damn it! Damn it! Where the hell is it? We saw a conspicuous girl rummaging through a shelf filled with different chemicals. Hey, what are you looking for? Don't sneak up on me, bitch! I literally just met you, and you've already called me a bitch. Hey! Hey, I'm sorry if we surprised you, but you shouldn't talk to Kaiden hey. like. Hey, crotch rot! You staring at my tits? Huh? What? <laughs> Help yourself, a guy like you can only dream of landing a big boob hottie like me. They're kinda big. Go on, get yourself an eyeful. I did. Uh, um, Eyes are full. If 
you're overage. But if you're not, then... I, I don't know what you're talking about. I can't prove it. No, I wasn't staring. My eyes just happened to look you there. <laughs> you mother fu- Can you not say the word frick? Oh, my eyes just happened to look there. Oh, my eyes- my hand just happened to grope her. Ha! Ha! Virgin. I, I can identify pervs on sight, and you are definitely a fucking perv. That's why you wear that hat, right? To hide your skeevy eye. <coughs> and that's why you wear those pants, right? To hide your nasty crotch. Everyone wears pants, though, wearing a skirt. <laughs> Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Everyone knows that only purrs wear hats. La, la, la. Oh, he looks mad. Looks hella mad, okay. You're in the death note now, bitch. Stop it. Leave me alone! I can wear a hat if I want to! <laughs> hey, Con? What the hell are you getting pissed off at me for? Tell the word you're sorry. If you start me into losing motivation, that loss will be felt across the whole world. Hey. Hey, your vulgar language is uncalled for. Just who are you anyway? Huh? Seriously? You don't know who I am? I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself, Mui Ruma! Miu. The ultimate inventor. Is that a Chuck E. Cheese? There's like Chuck E. Cheese on there. Yeah, I'm bugging out. A little pin under it, I think. Um, I never heard of you. So what kind of things do you invent? I mean, all kinds of gadgets. Ones that let you sleep while you sleep. Let you type while you sleep. Read while you sleep. Even ones that let you eat while you sleep. Why does everything involve sleeping? I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. <laughs> Though this one time I invented these really stupid eye job contact lenses as a gag. Huh? Wait, really? That's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. Ah! Shh! Your friends sound like total plebs. That invention was nothing. It doesn't make you more productive while you sleep, so it was a failure, just like you two. Bitch, you don't know me. What's my first name? What is your first name? Akaide. Akamatsu, there you go. I signed the patent rights over to some company and never looked back. It seems like a waste. It's way better than your new stuff while sleeping inventions. By the way, what were, you, what were you looking for earlier? You sounded pretty desperate to find it. What was that? Eh? Are you a dumbass? In a situation like this, I gotta find some meds. Huh? Medicine? Are you feeling sick? Fucking moron! No, idiots. I need strong meds because I want to trip my fucking balls off. Ah! Uh, I, whoa. Whoa. I gotta stop drinking. I would have never done that. I would have never done that if it wasn't for the alcohol, bro. Never in my life would I have done that. My bad. That won't happen again. Or will it? I just want to set my mind free and forget all about this shitty situation. Oh, Wait, what? You can't use drugs to get high. You definitely shouldn't do that. <laughs> what the hell? My genius can't be constrained by the wisdom of the masses. Besides, this place probably doesn't even have the shit I need to get loosey-goosey. So, are we cool? Are you done being mad at me? You can't. They said that there's a fine line between genius and insanity, which is definitely beyond insane. What's up with Shuichi? He's been quiet ever since Miu mentioned his hat. Does he not like to talk about it? I might have to cut this short. There's no need. There's. I wanna. I'm. A, I'm. A, and, okay. Here's what I'll do. What I'll do is, I'm gonna see if that gate's open. We'll go until the gate's open. So that's still relatively early in the game before even a kill even happens. Yeah, I know, I, I know too much. My bad. So I'll just go until that. Right, I'll check the gym even though I know it's locked. Oh, wow. All right, I'll meet everybody then? Yeah, and then I'll end it up. End it out. You're right. Huh? What's the matter? No. Oh, I should read this. 
strange, how so? Uh, okay. Like deja vu, I feel like I've been here before. Could it oh, be? when we were running. We might be caught up in something even stranger than we imagined. Well, it's natural to feel unsettled when we know so little about what's going on. Yeah. But we'll probably be fine. Um, what makes you say that? Because, because we have 16 ultimate students on our side. They're so optimistic, I like her. As long as we work together as friends, I just know nothing bad will happen. Friends? Now, I can't read Japanese or anything. But I don't know, there's an incident in the middle. I wonder what that is. That place seriously has a lot of weird stuff. So, I can't read Japanese, or at least I can't read the kanji. Uh, I can read this one. I think this one means uh, heart. And that says Monokuma. So if you don't think if you don't think Monokuma is gonna pull up, bro, yeah, another thing coming. That's the boy right there. I spoiled it. Can't have this game without Monokuma. He ties everything together, like literally. I feel like I visited everything uh, on this side. I think I just have to like search every single freaking thing ever so I can get that one going. So I'll go upstairs and see if I, I missed anything. And then I'll go downstairs to, to go to the doors that I know fucking don't open. Wait a minute, is this the music room? Huh? Huh? It went open, but this room does look like it was made for me. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it was. There we go. Ah, uh, oh, they're here again. What do you think this place is? Check out all this fancy schmancy writing. Seems like a place for eggheads. Huh? Isn't this the ultimate research lab? You stupid! What the hell? Why would you tell them? We were trying to make it all dramatic. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Huh? Huh? What's an ultimate research lab? We want you guys to keep honoring your ultimate time, so we set up these rooms for you. This is the ultimate penis lab. Penis lab. But we set up labs for the ult the other ultimates too, of course. Most of them are still hidden, though. By the way, the reason this research lab is still locked is... Is... Because we're still setting up everything. Sorry, we'll hustle to get it all ready. Wipe your Just wipe your asses, asses and wait. The hell you saying? That's good advice now, but don't you, don't you mean to say hold your horses? <laughs> Monokid is such a dummy. What are you laughing at? I bully you like I bully Monodam. <laughs> Monodam's just vibing. I love Monodam. He's probably my favorite. It seems like the music room, but I guess it's an ultimate lab. Hey! Do you think there's really other rooms like this for everyone? Hmm. I wonder about that too. Anyway, I thought this was the music room. Uh huh, I really wanted to play the piano. Oh, I can play as much piano as I want when I finally escape this place. Dun 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 dun. Dun. If I haven't met, oh, I, there's, there's still another person I haven't met, to my knowledge. Two people I haven't met. This is gonna be the last guy I meet. It's Orochimaru. I'm gonna talk to Orochimaru. Oh, is this the entrance hall? 
Right, Shuichi? This must be the entrance hall, don't you think? Uh, okay. Yeah, I suppose so. Which means... Mm -hmm. That door must be the entrance. If you walk through, we can escape this place, no. right? Wait, I don't think we should open doors carelessly. It could be a trap. Do not worry. Worrying about that isn't necessary. I have already examined the doors. Uh. I'm gonna talk about Orochimaru. At least my best, my best, uh, my best, my best try on Orochimaru. Oh, uh, Oops. you wonder who is this? Yes, I shall make this clear first. My name is Korekio Shinguchi. I am called the ultimate anthropologist. Please call me Kyo. As for an anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? Let's see. Okay, sure. Anthropology is studies, customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and much more. There, there may be even there may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you don't know. Let's see. Do not know. For example, certain aspects of a, a birthday or New Year celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as these through rigorous analysis. It is a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Mm -hmm. Okay, I sort of get it, but not really. It sounds like a lot of fun, though. That's correct. Well, of course it's fun. It is a study focused on humanity. Beautiful. I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Um. Oh, um, um. I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. This thing makes me congested. <laughs> Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Humanity is beautiful. <laughs> People are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep and it turns out he is one too. Anyway, we can go outside if we just go through these doors, right? So. You should find the answers to such questions on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. Shattered? What does he mean by that? La la la. Okay. Alright, so I'm end out here. And pretty much the next thing we're gonna do is meet the, the rest of the students that we haven't met yet. Who are outside of the store, coincidentally. Pretty much just gonna look it over. If, it's, if it if it blows, like it's so framey that it's unwatchable, and I guess it's just for me. No one saw this. But yeah. All right. Um. Hmm, should I even make an outro? Because it's not even a guarantee that this is gonna be a thing. Yeah, I'm making an outro just for y'all. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Don't have a channel name just as yet. I think the name will be TBD Gaming or TBD Games or something along those lines. If you like it, like it. If you hate it, like it. If you want me to make more, like it. Write a comment down. Let me know I did a good job. Um, I'm really excited for this game. I haven't really got up to the part where like I I'm, I'm not I'm not very far at all. Like I said, I'm in the first investigation. Or just starting the first investigation, I didn't even look at any piece of evidence yet. I do know who died, and I do know some circumstances revolving around the first death. Maybe you can catch that during this video, that I do know that. Um, but I, I, ultimately, I'm still very new to this. Like I said, I played the first and second game, and I'm really excited to play this third game and find out more about this universe, or this parallel universe, if you will. So, yeah. If everything works out, then I'll, I'll definitely be making out other videos. And with that, I'm out of here, bro.